All right, um, good evening, everybody, or good day, or whenever you watch this video. The purpose of this um, video is to assist students who are doing the lateness SPA. All right, so um, I start out by saying this is how I lay out my data. Um, this is so within these um, within these cells here is where we have all the data. All right, so um, I enter my data by gender and by um, weeks. Everybody should um, know by now that the month um, that in 2017 November started on a Wednesday and ended on a Thursday and that there was a total of um, 22, 22 school days in the month of November. Now the first thing I did with the data is um, is I sort of added up the I sort of got the total for everybody. So the first thing here you have total. So this 45 here is telling me that um, on a Monday there were a total of on Mondays for Mondays in November there were a total of 45 uh, male absences, 32 female absences on a Monday. On a Tuesday, all right, let's go back up as so you can see. On a Tuesday there was a total of 33 male absences, 26 female absences. So this line here is just simply the total. All right, below total, I have something that I call weighted total. All right, and there's a reason for weighted total. Um, and as I go across, I'll explain. So the 77 here is just simply the 45 plus the 30, 45 plus the 32. The 59 here is actually the um, 33 plus the 26. Now, the 59 here represents um, the 48 plus the um, 26, and then I multiply it by um, 0 0.8. Now, the reason I did that is because um, in the month of November, there were, total, there were five Wednesdays and five Thursdays, but there were, what, only four Monday, Tuesdays, and Friday, but there were five Wednesdays and... Um, and five Thursdays. So to sort of like um, bring back some amount of fairness when I'm looking at the data, I multiply the total for Wednesday and Thursday by 0 0.8. When you multiply by 0 0.8, it's the equivalent of dividing by five and multiplying by four. So what I'm saying is that I'm viewing Monday, Wednesday and Thursday as if there were what, four Wednesdays and four Thursdays to make it equal with Monday, Tuesday, and Friday. All I did, whatever was the total for Wednesday and the total number of absence, sorry, of late students for Wednesdays and Thursday, I multiplied by 0 0.8. Now, what did I do with this um, data that says weighted average or weighted total? Weighted total, this is what I did. Um, the first thing is I highlighted, I highlighted this, and then hit Control. Then I go up to the top and highlight Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then um, I went to, um, then I went to Insert, Insert, and on the Insert now I go to, um, no, I think it was, on the Insert I went to. Um, Oh, under insert, I go to pie chart. Insert, I go to pie chart. And now I tell what I did now. By clicking this, I'm telling Excel to create a pie chart for me. All right, I want one with percentages. So I go here and click that, percentages. Then now um, I might go back to one of the other ones that I might actually like, so maybe something like that. Then I click on here and I click on um, that to remove that. Now what this is what this pie chart is showing is that this pie chart now is a pie chart showing the what the percentage of the total absence of the total number of absences we can see that um, sorry the total number of lateness we could see that 24% um, of the students are, are late on a Monday and on a Thursday and um, on a Friday, that's when you have 
the least number of latencies, which is 16%, and you have 18% on a Tuesday and on a Wednesday. All right. So of the total number of absences, and I think in total there were 361 absences. Of the 361 absences, 24%, um, sorry, not absences, lateness, um, 361 incidents of lateness, 24% occurred on a Monday, and what, 24% um, occurred on a Thursday, 16% occurred on a Friday, 18% occurred on a Wednesday, and on a Tuesday. So the title here would say, something like percentage of total and the total there is 361 um, percentage of a total incidence of lateness all right so i guess my chart could say something like that so of the so what this is saying is just say of the total number of late, incidents of lateness, 24% occurred on a Monday. So immediately I can begin to make a connection between um, lateness and the days of the week. I can see that it's more likely that it is marginally more likely that children will be late on a um, Wednesday and on a sorry on a Monday and a Thursday, and the least likely to be late on a Friday. All right, so we already did this chart around here, see here, percentage of total lateness. All right, so we did that chart already. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete this one. All right, so I delete that chart. And now the next, um, the next thing, that, coming back to the table, this says here, this says averages. Now, the average here is simply um, you add up at 8, you add the 45 and the you add the 45 and the 32 and divide it by 4. Why? Because there are 4 Mondays. So the average on a Monday, the average number of, it's on a Monday, um, 19 students are likely to be absent. So out of the 35 students in the class, 20 males and 15 females, um, 19 of them are likely to be absent on a Monday. Um, the average here, so that's a 33 plus a 26 divided by 4. On a Wednesday, however, it's the 48 plus the 26 divided by 5, because there are 5 Wednesdays. Same thing on a Thursday, it's the 59 plus the what? 38 divided by 5, all right? And on a Friday, the 33 plus the 21 divided by 5, all right? So that's the average. Now, when I get the average, all I did simply to know the average is, Divide the 19 by what? Divide the 19 by 35. Divide the 19 by 35. Why? So 19 children children were abs were late on a Monday out of 35 students. And all I do know is that next I go to um go here where it says um format cell. And I tell Excel to give me the answer as a percentage, and that I do not need. That I do not need any decimal places, all right? So Excel calculates 19 over what 35 as 55%. So 55% late on a Monday, 42 on a Tuesday and on a Wednesday, um, 55 on a Thursday, 39% on a Friday. All right, then the next thing I did is that I then highlight this. Then I go back up, hit control, go back up and I like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then I go to insert. And this time now I take, tell Excel that I want them to do a bar chart. All right. Um, I like this bar chart, so I click on it. So what this is saying now, this now is actually, remember now we put the 19 over the what, 35. So this is the percentage of the 35 students who are absent um, for the different days of the week. All right, so I could say this is percentage of um, class and in the class there are 35 students. All 
plain plainness. All right. So this is telling me um, what percentage of the 35 students is late on a Monday, on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and a Friday. This information will again strengthen my argument that yes, there is a connection between the days of the week and that um, the days of the week that, that children are more likely to be absent are Mondays and on Thursdays. And the day of the week that they are least likely to be absent is on a Friday. Sorry, late is on a Friday. Please note, lateness occurred every day of the week, but it's more likely to occur on a Monday and a Thursday and less likely to occur on a Friday. All right. I also did this chart already, so I can probably delete that. All right. I did it over here. And this says percentage lateness. Um, but if you want, you can be more specific. It's the percentage of the 35 students in a class who are late on the different days of the week. All right. And between these two charts, this chart and this chart, um, that will help me know to, um, to, um, to, to establish the connection between um, lateness and the days of the week. All right. Let's look at um, things now by gender. By gender. All right, the first thing I did is I have the average number of students, um, the average number of males and females lateness for the day, different days of the week. So on average, 11 males are likely to be absent on a Monday. Eight males are likely to be absent on a, on a Tuesday. Um, 10 males on a um, Wednesday, etc., etc., etc. All right, so um, this is total. I don't think I need the total. This is for um, B8. Oh, that's the total number of males. I don't think I actually need it. Average would have been good enough. All right, total, yeah, all right, the total. So this is the total number of males, 45, um, 33. So I'm looking at males first, 45, 33. All right, so the diff these are the different number of males absences. The total number of male absences is for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. All right. Now, this is the percentage of the males absent, percentage. So um, 11 males were absent on a Monday, 11 out of what, 20. So I divide 11 by 20. And as before, I tell Excel to give me the answer as a percentage with no decimal cases. All right. Now, um, the first one, I, this now is the total male absences. So I highlight that. And then I go back up to the top, hit control, go back up to the top. And um, well, I didn't have to, I could have done it from here. Control, I like here. All right, then I hit control. Then I come here. See, so not working with me. And hit control and press those two. So the first one is the different days of the week. At the top, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the 45, 33, 38, 47, and 33. That's the total number of male absences for the different for the different days. And again, that is out of the total out of the total number of male absences, which is 216. This is how the 216 absences is broken down. Um, please remember again that for Thursday and Friday, whatever you get for the total, Thursday and Wednesday, you would uh, multiply it by 0 0.8. So as to bring some form of parity with all the days of the week. All right. Um, then I go to Excel, insert. Tell Excel that I want a pie chart. Then now, under the pie chart, I, want, I might go to one that has percentages in it. Then go back to this one here, it here, delete this. So this now is telling me of the total number of male absences, lateness. The total number of incidents of late male lateness, which is 216, um, Monday and 34% are, um, 34 of those, percent of those occurred on a Thursday and 23% on a, um, on a Monday 
and Tuesday and Friday you have 17%, 19% on a Wednesday. So the days now from this that meals are most likely to be um, late are Thursday and on a Monday and the days they are least likely to be late are Wednesdays, are Fridays and um, Fridays and Tuesdays. All right. So this is percentage percentage of total meal uh, for total and I put in bracket um, 218 meal lateness all right so I put something like that so a percentage of the total Percentage of the total male lateness, all right. And I see how male lateness out of the total number of male lateness, you understand how the percentages is allocated um, by days of the week, all right. Then I want I could delete that. Now, um, where it has where I have no percentage male absences, it's simply the um, eleven or the eleven divided by the eleven. Which is the average divided by 20. Um, here, 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 here. All right. So it's the 11 divided by 20, the 11 here. So on average, there are 11 meals absent on a Monday. Divide that by 20 because there are 20 meals in the class, and that gives me percentages. All right. Um, I have a similar thing for female. Um, but for female, it's divided by 15. Because in the class there are 15 females. So next I would highlight um, from in the corner here, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then I would also highlight males. And I would also highlight females, keeping my finger on the control button. Then I go to insert and tell Excel that I would like a pie chart. All right. And then I can search one that I like. All right, this one is not so bad. Um, I might look for one that has percentages in it first. Yeah. Then go back to this. All right. So, so this now is giving me the percentage of the the percentage of of the males in the class and the females in the class. How their lateness spread out over understand over um over a week. So you can clearly see from the chart the blues representing males and the orange representing females that male male um, lateness slightly outpaces female lateness for every single day of the week except on a Tuesday, where the females are 43 and males are 41. All right. So now this is this is um, helping me now to answer the question of the two gender which is most frequently late, all right? So that's one chart. Um, I also did um, a total chart for females. The total, so I would highlight total, the total number of female absences. Remember that um, for Wednesday and Thursday, multiply by what, 0 0.8. To sort of like, as I said before, even things out because there are five Wednesdays and five Thursdays, whereas there are only four Mondays, Tuesdays, and Friday. Hit Control, hold it down. Highlight Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Go to um, Insert, and then to Pie Chart. Excel, I want you to create a pie chart. I did that. Um, go to one that has percentages, then go back here. Delete that. Now I have my chart. And this is telling me now um, of the total female absences. And there are total latenesses. There are a total of 143 female incidents of female lateness. All right. Of the total female lateness, um, incidents of female lateness, 25% occurred on a Monday. And what? Um, and 23% um, occurred on a Thursday. Those are the highs. And the lows are Wednesdays and what Fridays. 
All right. So this is showing the allocation of the total number of female absences, which is 143. So this is our lateness, late incidence of lateness, percentage of total, and we have 143 female lateness. All right. I could probably name my chart something like that. What percentage of that total is for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? This is separate from the percentages, which is looking at the percentage of the class that is late on a particular day. All right. And again, these questions are helping me to answer the question of, um, of the two genders, male or female, which is most frequently late. Now, the last thing I want to look, look at is sort of like come up with our overall percentage lateness for male and female. All right. Um, over here, I added up all the male, male, male um, lateness for, for the different weeks, week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. And this now, 218, is the total number of male um, lateness. For females, I did the same. So this is the total number of female lateness. So our total number of lateness is 361. Out of a total of um, 700 and, um, 770 possible. No. All right, so let me explain that 770. Um, if there are 35 students in a class, the, num the maximum number of lateness you can have per day is 35. And that is if everybody is late. Now, if there are 22 days in a month and you can have up to 35, um, a maximum of 35 lateness per day, so it means that you can have a total of what? Um, you could have a possible total of what? Or, um, of 770 incidents of lateness. So that's the total number of possible lateness for the month. Now, out of the total number of possible lateness, we only had um, what? 361 incidents of lateness. That 361 is actually 47%. So um, the students of CB10A were late in the month of November 47% of the time. All right, I then did a similar thing for what? Um, males and what? Females. 218 males. Out of a total of that's 22, there are 22 days, and there are 20 males in the class. So 200, that's 218 out of a total of 400 and what? 40. For females, 143 out of a total of 333. So the 333 is actually the 15 multiplied by 22. And so what this is saying is that males were late. 50% of the time, and females were late 43% um, of the time. Um, the difference is not great, but at least now, with those figures, we can say definitively of the two genders, which is most frequently late. Males are late, what, 50% of the time, whereas females are late 43% of the time. I hope that this video... Um, was of some assistance. All right. Remember that your um, the first half of the project is due, so please get yourself ready to submit it.